What's going on everybody? I am Terminal X and today we're going to be doing Google Autocomplete Interview. Can you see my feet by the way? Okay, good, because I'm wearing these ratty shoes. <laughs> Does Terminal X listen to music while riding? Uh, yes, he does. I tend to listen to music through um, either one earbud um, in my right ear, or I also have an audio system right here um, for speakers um, in both sides. And that allows me to listen to music, but still keep awareness of what's going on around me. And uh, lately I've been listening to a lot of reggaeton it helps a lot with uh, learning Spanish and uh, the beat is perfect for some good classic carving on a longboard. So ooh, this is going to be tricky. Does Terminal X ride Goofy? Let me fix that other one here real quick. Does Terminal X ride Goofy? Uh, no, he does not. I am actually, uh, I ride regular, but I am left-handed, believe it or not. So uh, that's kind of an advantage because I can, when I'm recording or using my phone while riding, I have my dominant hand, my left hand to like get good footage, but um, I can use the remote in my right hand. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, I would love to learn to ride Goofy someday. I think it would be, be handy for uh, riding in reverse. It says, does Terminal X listen to Daft Punk? Uh, yes, big shout out and big respect to Daft Punk, of course, the helmet influence, et cetera, uh, anonymity. Um, I don't listen to them as much as people would think though. Uh, I'm much more of a Glitch Mob fan, so if you know who Glitch Mob is, uh, they're a little bit more new, a little more dynamic than Daft Punk. Um, I do listen to them pretty often. Does Terminal X remove his helmet? Yes. Um, occasionally while in the shower. <laughs> Uh, no, um, uh, I don't remove my helmet for stuff like this, for rides. Obviously, you got to wear your helmet while you're riding. Um, I would say most people would attest that I take my helmet off like when we're not filming and when we're just doing group rides and we're, we've stopped and we're just talking and chatting and charging. Um, I'm not anonymous then. Like I'm not trying to be weird or creepy about it. I'm not like some mysterious figure in the, in the corner doing some weird Boba Fett thing. I'm just chilling. Um, but if the camera's on or the photos are being taken, the pass is on. So there's the first one. Oh, okay, let's hope I get better at that going forward. <laughs> How does Terminal X make his vlogs? Um, uh, it varies, but usually with a camera. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, this right here is the Magic GoPro. And then there's a microphone that feeds into here so you can hear my crispy voice. In fact, we might actually be using that right now for my audio. Um, but yeah, no, that's it. And then I edit with Premiere Pro. I have a couple of people behind the scenes that help me a lot um, with editing because uh, they're better at it than I am. And I love uh, working with people in the community and, and building up uh, what they've got going on in terms of you know their skills and, and what they're trying to do with their career. So yeah, I'm always happy to, to reach out and, and work with other video creators. Um, shout out to all those guys, Mystery Fish, Fanta Jake, AKA Vision Media, uh, as well as Suicide Shots down in Chicago, uh, people I've all worked with on projects uh, for Terminal X, and uh, they are um, part of the reason you see what you see. Uh, they're, they're the best for sure. How many accidents has Terminal X gotten into? Oh man, yeah, uh, yeah, don't ask my doctor. <laughs> um, serious accidents, I would say one, two, three, four, four scarring, like scarring accidents or ones that required hospitalization or where something broke. I would say four serious accidents. Three of them involved cars. One of them was just me being stupid and not wearing a helmet, wear a helmet. Uh, as for like other little falls where I just scuff something up or get a little road rash. God, I don't know, another four or five of those. So like 10 total, 10 total accidents, I guess. But you know, hanging in there. All right, let's try this again. What is Terminal X's favorite electric skateboard? Um, whichever one I'm riding at the moment, because uh, I, for me, it's less about the board and more about the experience. However, I would say of all time, at the moment, the BioBoard Plutonium, in terms of like what the power and specs can deliver, uh, I'd say it's really well designed too. In terms of looks and experience, the Cali boards, man, oh, local homegrown, made in New York, Man, those are beautiful, beautiful boards. What is Terminal X's helmet? Uh, great question. I get this asked uh, every week in my Instagram. 
Um, this is called a TSG Pass, made by a European company that uh, makes helmets for a multitude of sports, including downhill longboarders. So this is really a perfect fit for electric longboarding. Um, it's very lightweight. It's quite breathable. Um, yeah, I love it. And uh, I will probably ride it, use it forever. I don't have any plans to switch. So shout out to TSG. Um, these guys keep me safe when I'm riding, um, especially with how many times I've hit my noggin. What is Terminal X doing right now? Uh, I'm so glad you could ask. I am doing a Google autocomplete autofill interview thingy with you. What are you doing right now? What is Terminal X's real name? You know, I've been wondering that myself. Um, I go by many names. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no, it's staying Terminal X for this one. More people know my real name than you think, but uh, they're all sworn to secrecy, and I pay them handsomely. What is Terminal X? Great question. I can't tell if you're referring to, like, what does the name come from, or, like, what am I as a philosophical entity? Um, I'll answer neither of those. Terminal X is before you. That's all you need to know. Ooh, I'm getting better. All right, I'm gonna make this as dramatic as possible. Why does Terminal X keep his helmet on? Great question, to protect my noggin. Thank you for asking. Uh, if you're referring to the anonymity thing, uh, it's more fun. I can be more of a different person and Terminal X is always evolving, you know? I believe the Joker said it best, you know, when, I, when it comes to questions about my origins and past, I prefer the answers to be multiple choice. And as somebody playing a character or having um, a platform that wants to promote things like the Eastgate community, PEV culture, as well as just having a good time, um, I prefer that flexibility. Plus, you really don't want to see what's under this helmet, trust me. It would scare some of you, disappoint others, and um, yeah, I think I'd lose some subscribers. Anyways, um, so yeah, trust me, treasure the pass. Treasure the pass, because this is as good as it's going to get right here. Ooh, I should have not taken this much caffeine. <laughs> I'm dying over here of energy, but I'm also like sucking air. Uh, why does Terminal X fall so much? Great question. Probably because I suck at eboarding. Um, no, I, uh, I'm what's known in the business as a distracted rider. I'm trying to record some of this action here for y'all's crispy entertainment. And sometimes it means that I am distracted and not paying attention to what's on the road. Also, I have lost most of my fear of cars at this point, and I treat them as pebbles on the road now. So, <laughs> and uh, anywho, yeah, no, I, I just fall a lot because that's what happens when you when you do what I do as a distracted rider riding electric skateboards at high speeds. It comes with the territory. Please wear a helmet. Please wear pads. This has been a sponsored message by keeping you alive. All right. Why does Terminal X hate you, C's? I think this is a misconception. I, I, I want to let's marinate on this a little bit. Let's dig a little deeper here. I do not hate EUCs. Full stop. End of sentence. Technically, I shouldn't have to go farther than that, but I will. Uh, I will hear you out. Um, I think EUCs have potential for a handful of individuals. However, I am nervous about the concept of, tr of trusting software and electronics to keep you upright. Imagine, if you will, if one day your car decided to stop working properly and its default reaction was to send you into a front flip. That makes me nervous. And for me to have an EUC and be go, oh, you know, the moment that I push this thing too hard or the moment it fails, I'm going to do a front flip, you know, fall forward. And that I prefer to have four wheels on the ground or at least two so that if something was to go wrong electronically, I can coast out of it. I can foot brake if that makes sense. And I know that EUCs have a pretty good track record of not failing, but I've also seen them fail. Uh, on top of that, I don't like how if you have one wheel that becomes unstable, you're done for. Whereas if I hit one bump or one crack with an e-board with uh, large AT wheels, I'm still good to go. I can still recover. Um, so for me, that's my, my theory about them. I do think they look a little goofy, but at the same time, most EUC riders go way faster and further than me, so I really can't talk smack um, about that. It's just, you know, I just prefer the surfing feeling. That's just preference for me. Why does Terminal X stay anonymous? Man, you guys really want to know, don't you? Yeah, no, um, yeah, okay, sorry. 
I'm easily distracted. Uh, Terminal X likes to stay anonymous because it is easier to manage um, a brand when it's easier to manipulate. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a helmet and a, and a voice. And I want my message and my themes and my videos to obviously be positive and building up the community. And I think I've done a pretty good job so far. But at the same time, there's a, there's a, a greater um, element of fun and thrill when it's an anonymous person. It's a symbol. If, if I could draw from some cheesy Batman sim, symbology here. Is that, is that a word? Symbology? What's the word? S symbology? Come on now. Um, uh, symbolism. Symbolism. <laughs> Sorry. I am like full blown caffeine. Uh, like I'm like sweating under this. Mostly because these lights are a little hot, but also because um, one of the problems with all those accidents that we talked about earlier is that now I have migraines um, every day, multiple times a day. So it takes a lot of caffeine to like simmer that, that migraine down. So yeah, anyways, yeah, wear a helmet. <laughs> so yeah, Terminal X stays anonymous for all of those reasons. Oh, boom, baby. No, wait. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> All right. Dramatic entry. Great question. Terminal X is me. The name comes from uh, terminal velocity, which any of you science lovers will instantly know what terminal velocity is. And it goes well with the theme of me riding an e-board as fast as I can. The X was when, <laughs> when I made a YouTube channel, I had to put something in the last name column. So I just put an X. <laughs> also, I just think like the X is like the coolest letter in the alphabet. Um, yeah, that's, that's enough. That's enough behind the scenes of Terminal X for you right there. Um, there's actually more stories behind this Terminal X here, but uh, yeah, no, no, it's a, uh, it's a little too personal for, for this video. So anyways, Thank you for watching this video. Uh, big thanks to Vision Media Productions, aka Fanta Jake, a local e-skater here in Grand Rapids, for putting this together and helping me build this. Well, really, he kind of built it. I just put the, the little white stickers on. That was my contribution to this. And uh, I hope to do more of these with other content creators someday. I had a great time chatting with all of you, and I hope I answered some of your questions so you don't have to keep Googling them or sliding into my DMs with them. And uh, we will be seeing you all around on the streets.